This respectable museum's edifice safeguards more than just your run-of-the-mill collection of art, natural history, and cultural artifacts. Somewhere, deep below several layers of exhibits, below the museum's extensive archive collection, below its offices, below the museum's art restoration center, and still deeper below the special temperature and humidity controlled storage and its most subterranean service spaces lies an awful secret. An ancient crypt long forgotten by the rest of the world and unknown to the museum above has been covertly appropriated by the evil Crumbs Corporation over the years as the museum's work has proceeded as normal above. Crumbs Corp has been busy with some modifications of their own. The crypt has been outfitted with a secure vault. The vault's thick walls and massive door protect hijacked trade secrets, incriminating photos, stolen goods, and assortment of other more mundane valuables. Now, you could care less about museums, evil corporations, and secret vaults. Crumbs Corp means nothing to you. But your old friend Quinn here has enlisted your help to retrieve a certain file document from this vault. How Quinn became aware that this vault even existed, and what's in that file, are a story in itself. A tale for another time, I think. Remember that you're only here because of your keen driving hey, Mom, skills. This is important. Listen up, everyone. We need to find a specific file. Anything else you grab is yours. But we're not leaving without my file. Is that crystal clear to everyone? Very well then. Let's start from the beginning. So, at 2 p.m., Lavonia shows up at the museum in the phony catering van. She delivers the layer cake for that night's event. A set of security badges and my safe cracking tools will be hidden inside the cake. At 3.30 p.m., our inside security guy takes advantage of the security shift change to apply the video tap on the loading dock camera feed. At 8.30 p.m., Marco and I arrive on site for the formal museum event. Quinn's only interest is that special file. That means you and the other members of the heist team get to split as much of the other treasure that you can haul away. So grab as much as you can while you're in there. Make it this count. This gives Livonia plenty of time to get the temporary ramp set up, and then leave. But don't even think about leaving that vault without this file. Hold on. This is your part. Better pay attention. At 9.40 p.m., our getaway driver drives into the loading dock using Livonia's ramp. They will navigate their way through the museum to the vault at the lowest level. By the time the getaway vehicle arrives, Marco and I will have the lock cracked, and the door will be open. We should plan to stay in the vault, no longer than, 10 minutes. After that, we'll make a hasty retreat, through drainage tunnels, to the rendezvous point. I know Quinn said 10 minutes, but there's a snag. The true allegiance of one of your fellow heist team members is questionable. See, somehow old Crumbs already got word of this heist. He sent Gunter, one of his top agents, to thwart the attempted burglary. I'm afraid you're going to have to work fast. Good thing this isn't your first job. You didn't get where you are by following the silly drive line. Leave that to poor Gunter. You know that taking shortcuts will buy you much needed time for searching the treasure hunt. Does anyone have any questions, or foresee any problems with their tasks? Quinn told the team, you were the only one she knew of that could pull this off. I figure she's a pretty good judge of character, but I'll reserve my judgment until I can see what you can really do. Go on then, let's see what you're made of. 